Hello everyone, in this video we're going to draw a spider. Start by drawing a circle as a guide for the front part of the body called the cephalothorax. To draw the circle, first make two small marks to indicate the circle's length, and then on the sides make two more small marks to indicate the circle's width. Then connect the marks using curved lines to finish the shape of the circle. The circle doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're having trouble drawing it, just trace the outer edge of a coin, a bottle cap, or anything else with a circular edge. Above that, draw another circle as a guide for the back portion of the body called the abdomen. Use the 4 marks method to draw this circle too. Draw this circle bigger than the first circle. Don't draw the circles too far apart or the body will be too long. Sketch lightly at first so that it's easy to erase if you make a mistake. Also, pause the video to draw at your own pace. Connect the circles using two short sloping lines to finish the guide for the abdomen. The middle of the overall shape should be thin. Starting on the bottom left side of the body, draw a very long line as a guide for the first leg. This line should be about one and a half times the length of the entire body. To the right, draw another long line as a guide for another leg. The lines don't have to be perfectly symmetrical, but make them similar to each other. Now draw two more sets of legs higher up along the body the same way. Bend the lines at the top to indicate a segment. The tips of these legs should end higher up than the first pair of legs. Draw two more lines near the middle for another pair of legs. These lines should be shorter and they should stretch to the sides. Bend the lines near the middle to indicate segments. Now draw two more lines going up for the last pair of legs. Pay attention to how high the legs are above the abdomen. If you'd like, you can lightly sketch a horizontal line to make sure that the lengths of the legs are the same. And that's it for the guidelines. Now let's start on the final drawing. Inside the first circle, near the bottom, lightly sketch two small circles for the eyes. The circle should be small in relation to the body. When you get the sizes and positions of the eyes right, darken the shapes. Shade the eyes except for tiny circles that represent highlights. Above that, draw two slightly smaller circles for the other pair of eyes. Shade this pair of eyes too, but leave tiny circles blank for highlights. Pay attention to the position of these eyes in relation to the first pair. Now draw four dots along the bottom edge of the initial circle for the last four eyes. Draw the bottom row of eyes small in relation to the eyes at the top. Now darken the initial circle to create the shape of the cephalothorax. Use short strokes as you draw the shape for a fuzzy texture. At the bottom, extend the lines farther down than the initial circle so that the shape is longer. Make the bottom edge of the shape flat. At the bottom, draw two curved shapes for the mouth parts called the calissery. Use short strokes as you draw the shapes for a fuzzy texture. The fangs on the calissery won't be visible from this angle. On the left side, draw a thin curved shape for an appendage called the pedipalp. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shape right. Curve the tip of the shape to the right. To the right of the calissery, draw another thin shape for the other pedipalp. 
Bend the bottom tip of the pedipalp to the left. Use angled lines to indicate segments. It's okay if the two pedipalps aren't perfectly symmetrical. Use the line on the bottom left side as a guide to draw the first leg. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Keep the edges of the leg close to the guideline so that the shape is thin. Make the bottom tip of the leg thin and pointy. When you get the shape of the leg right, darken the lines. Follow the path of the line as you draw the shape of the leg. Add a few short lines inside the shape to separate the segments. Use the line on the right as a guide to draw the other front leg the same way. First, lightly sketch the shape of the leg around the guideline. Keep the edges of the leg close to the line so that the shape is thin. When you get the shape right, darken the lines. Add a few short lines inside to separate the segments. Now use the two lines that are higher up along the body as guides to draw the other pair of legs the same way. Draw the legs around the guidelines and keep the shapes thin. Make the tips of the legs thin and pointy. Pay attention to the distance between this pair of legs and the first pair. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Now draw the next pair of legs using the lines in the middle as guides. These legs are shorter because they're bent. Remember to keep the shapes thin. Add a few lines inside to separate the segments. Make the tips of the legs thin and pointy. Use the last two lines as guides to draw the final pair of legs. Draw the legs around the guidelines but bend the tips outward. Sketch lightly at first and only darken the lines when you get the shapes right. Add a few lines inside to separate the segments. Make the tips of the legs thin and pointy. Now darken the guides in the middle to finish the shape of the abdomen. Now erase the initial guidelines. The next few steps are sped up so that the video isn't too long. Don't worry about erasing all of the guidelines, it's okay if you leave some behind. Redraw any of the final lines that you may have accidentally erased. Now shade your drawing. Use a medium value to shade the entire body. Shade lightly at first and gradually build up to darker values. For light values, push down very lightly on your pencil, then push down harder for darker values. Follow the curvature of the body as you shade. Use a darker value throughout the body to create a striped pattern. Add a series of short strokes along the legs for the hairs. Draw a shadow under the spider using a medium value. Shading can be time consuming, so be patient and take breaks. Keep shading until you're happy with the result. And that's it for the spider. Don't forget to pause the video to draw at your own pace. Also, please visit howtodrawanimals.com where every step of this tutorial is broken down into an individual image. That's how, and then the number two, then drawanimals.com. If you'd like to support my channel, please consider buying my books on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. 
And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep drawing.